Hey there, so I'm about to show you how you can create exactly what you just saw for $10 USD a month. You can also use freemium. The only difference is you can only use one video and there's a few other limitations and there's only a thousand views per month. For $10 USD, you get all the features and unlimited views. But by all means, please use the freemium as well. We want everybody to use the system. And uh, let's get started. So what you want to do is go to uh, worldcast.io or studio.worldcast.io as well. So we can just go, uh, we can go start. And once you're into the system, you just click the uh, start creating button. Let's put this in full screen. Let's go start creating. This is all browser based, so you don't have to download anything. And we're just going to go to Printcast. It's our print based studio. We're going to go to $10 freemium, which will give you unlimited views per month. And let's just call this Reality Realty. Let's go next because we want you want to give your cast a name uh, for analytics as well as you get multiple casts. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, select the file, and we're going to grab our business card, and we're just going to go open. It's going to analyze the image, and it's going to give us uh, you know if it, it's going to give us a score if this is good enough for tra tracking, for re recogniz recognizing, and for the uniqueness of it. So it's good enough to go. We got 88.9% 88 score. Let's go create. So now we have our card in here. Across the top, you'll see how you can use the studio, rotate camera, pan camera, zoom. So that just means you can do this, you can zoom, and you can pan. So let's start off with the first video. So let's go to video, and let's go select video. And we'll just grab the first business card, or the first video rather. And we're simply going to go upload video. We're going to scale it up to the size of the business card just by grabbing this middle ring. And that looks good right about there. Uh, side note, uh, you can take your existing content that you already have or have a 3D, or a, sorry, just a designer do your stuff for you. In this case, I took the business card file and all the layers, took it in Photoshop, and I just animated the, uh, the layers and I dropped the passy down and, uh, and, and did that. So I had this cool effect on the business card and then I didn't have to do anything fancy. I just used Photoshop, but you can get a, your designer to do this or your videographer. So in this case, we have the video on there. We can hit play to see what it looks like. Looks good enough. I'm gonna go over the video again. I'm gonna go select video. I'm gonna grab the green screen video of the two, uh, the two realtors shaking hands and looking at the camera. I'm just gonna go open. I'm gonna go filter green screen. That will automatically get rid of the green screen for you. And it's in the system again. I'm going to grab the middle. I'm just going to bring it up off the, that video for a second. Make it a little bit bigger. We'll hit the play button so we can see the little intro to make sure it's all good. And what we're going to do is we're just going to rotate it up. Rotate it around. So that's nice and even. So what you see is what you get. So wherever you place it is exactly where it's going to be. So we're going to place it right about there. Make them a little bit bigger and do that. And when I hit play, this should come into the center, shake hands and look towards the camera. Perfect. So the, one of the other elements I'm going to grab is a, a 3D item. So you can upload your own 3D models if you have it. So if you have matter for mo models and stuff like that, you'd be able to put them into the system. That would be more advanced tutorial down the road. In this case, Sketchfab, you can go to Sketchfab and it's a, you can create a free account and I'm going to show you how to use a free model. So I'm already logged in. You would create an account and it would log you in already. In this case, I'm going to go, I'm going to grab the model I particularly I use for this demo. Just make sure I got the, the image, so I don't have to go search. There's lots of models available in uh, Sketchfab. So I'm just going to grab this one I used. I'm going to go import. Just takes a few seconds. And so the whole idea behind this is you can add elements that you can interact with. Uh, users can touch buttons. You can uh, share this via social media. There's lots of things you can do with this. You can have, uh, if you have a real estate uh, office and you have pictures outside the front of the office in the window, you can bring them all to life with the extra content. Uh, that's another tutorial I'll do down the road. I'm going to be doing some real estate specific items, uh, um, real estate centric elements as I have a lot of friends in, the, in, in that industry. So here we have the model coming in. Uh, 
I'm going to just grab this little circle here and just click and drag it and I'll just uh, rotate it on 45 degrees each time. You can grab it in between and do a smoother motion, but I just want it to go on that 45 degree angle. I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger, raise it up, and push it back to where it was in the sample that you saw. And we'll just bring the realtors up and out in front a little bit more. The system's very intuitive. You can go from object to object to object. Let's quickly go to add those buttons. So we're going to, instead of uploading custom ones, which you can make your own, we have a library as well that we've given a few basic ones that you may need. So we have some Facebook, Twitter, uh, uh, Instagram ones. In this case, I'm just going to go uh, quickly here. Once it's in the system, just drag it to where you want it to go. So we're just going to place it where it was, just like you saw in the video. So we're going to place this one here. You can resize them to whatever size you want. I'm just going to leave them as is for now. I'm going to grab Instagram. I'm just going to move it straight down. Right about there. And I'm going to grab the uh, third button, LinkedIn for now. I mean, this can be whatever you want to go to. I'm just grabbing uh, uh, some ones that we already have. You can make them custom to your brand, whatever color you want. And I'm just going to do one button for now. I can do all three, but you can do, uh, when you're doing it yourself, you can do it that way. I'm just going to put a, our website in here as a link. You can put a phone number, so you can, call, you can go call me. You can type in phone number in there, and it'll open up the phone number if the user touches the button, or go to a website. You can have fade in animations as well. We're not going to worry about that for this demo. Uh, and uh, last but not least, I think, uh, actually, I think that was all that was in that particular demo for now. So I'm going to go save. I'm going to go save and publish. Once it saves, it brings a QR code up and, and, and it'll let you, you will be, uh, when you hit save for the first time, you're going to be asked for your email address and to pay for the model or the uh, cast at that time. Uh, and then it's good to go. Uh, in this particular case, I'm already logged in and I've already have my demo account set up. So I've already done the transaction. Uh, I, I don't have to pay for mine because I own the system. <laughs> but uh, other than that, I'm going to uh, share my phone here. Just so you can see what I'm doing on my end, I'm going to scan that QR code. Uh, I would have got an email that would have come in to that I could also get the URL for it. And I'll show you two different ways you can get to the system. So uh, in this case, I'm just going to scan the QR code and I'll show you another way that you can get into the system as well. It's going to bring up an image of the card that we just uploaded. I'm simply going to aim at the image. And it will come to life with the elements that we've placed on top of that card. We have the realtors moving, we have the buttons. I'm going to touch that Facebook button right now. So it's like on there. And I'm going to touch the Facebook button, and it's going to open up our website that I told it to go to. So that's how fast it is to create content. You can add music in the background, you can quickly change it out. Uh, another way that you can access the card is by going to uh, the portal. So if you go to portal.worldcast.io and just go scan image and just aim at the card, it will do a recognition and go, hey, I know what that is. And the user can do that and bring up the content that way, okay? So that's how fast it is to create an interactive business card for a very cost-effective rate, 10 USD a month. Uh, and we supply all the, we did all the work for you, so there's no code involved and you can create uh, each one is ten dollars a month so you know very very cost effective to create a, an engaging component for your marketing materials and we're going to be releasing more that would be more real estate centric so you can see more of what you can do with the system for a very low price point entry without having to pay for a developer for software and like worry about making the content use a, use a content that you already have as well as create new existing content and think of new engaging ways that you can engage with uh, with the era that we're living in now uh, as well. So thanks for watching. I can't wait to see what you create.